take your first bundle of herbs and start at the bottom of the wreath the closest to your body and then you don't need to tie it off you can just wind the first one a little extra um, and sometimes it's a little wobbly in the beginning so I'm just gonna get my end started and then I take my whole spool and I just I give it a really nice pull and I'm just winding it around and giving a good pull each time and for the first one, like I said, I'm going to do some extras just so I know it's secure. But for the next ones, I'll probably just do like three loops. So that's good. See, it only like, it's a little wobbly, but once we add more bundles, it'll stay nice and tight. And when you're ready to add your next herb, I make a similar little, little bundle. And for this wreath, I'm choosing to do just sage, thyme, rosemary, and repeating, but you could also mix up however you choose and I'm going to place this second one just a few inches down from my first um, sage bunch and I just swing the wire over you don't need to tie it off it's just going to be a continuous thread so I'm now doing another round of loops pulling really tight between and I think I said I usually do like three but I'm going to do a few more because it's still a little loose and you can sort of see underneath, I had my first loop. There's my second one. And now I'm gonna go and add a rosemary, which I have right here. And I'm gonna cut it a little shorter. I want my wreath to be sort of like um, tidy and, and small, but if you wanted it to be longer and more um, wispy, you could have taller strands of herbs. And then I moved it down just about an inch. And I'm going to do a few more loops with the wire. And you can see already my wreath's growing and I'm like quarter way done. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my whole wreath made. I'm just gonna try to sneak one last um, little bundle of herb in here. And the last one's the trickiest because you sort of want to hold back the sage, which was my first bunch, and get that last one in there. And sometimes if you have someone around, they can do that for you. Otherwise, you just have to sort of nest it in there. And since this is my last wiring, I'm going to do a few extras too. And then I'm just going to sort of hide that little end spot. And there we go. Mm. I've got my air brief. And then with the end of the wire, I'm just going to use my snips. It's pretty thin wire, so I'm not too worried about that part. And sometimes I'll just sort of lace it around the frame of the hoop and just do like a little teeny knot or two. And sometimes this could also be if you um, need a little hanging um, Hoop, I cut my end sort of long off the spool and you can leave a sort of loop or if you want to hang it maybe you like a different part of your wreath to be the top you can oh it's ready to eat it's ready to dry and a few tips for drying you could totally hook it on the wall and dry it just like this you will notice probably the herbs will sort of sag a little bit from just from gravity or maybe you dry it somewhere in a flat spot so it sort of keeps its form and then hang it on the wall once it's dry and I like the idea of it just being as close to your um, to your stove as it can be and then you just snip off your sage leaves to stuff in the chicken or a whole you know, you could cut snips and just cut a big chunk of thyme out and 
eventually it's going to look a little, you know, a little gnarled, but that means you're eating good food. <laughs>